Well, hey guys, Mike here, Screaming Eagle Bass Catcher. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing a review on a uh, pair of Wayfair sunglasses from Ray-Ban. These are the Stories. And what's cool about these things is uh, they, they take video, they take uh, pictures, you can listen to music through the, the uh, arms, um, you can answer your phone, and they're really cool looking sunglasses. And so I'm real excited to, uh, to review these. Um, I bought these so that um, when I go fishing, that uh, I can listen to my music without worrying about the, uh, the background noise interfering with the video. Um, and, uh, but also I bought these and I wanna try them out. I'm not sure if they're gonna work or not, but for my motorcycle riding. Um, I, uh, I have a couple motorcycles. One of them has radio, one of them does not. And I'll show you. So this one here is my Road King. And uh, as you can see, there's no radio on this one. Um, it is a, a Screaming Eagle. That's kind of why I have a, a YouTube name like Screaming Eagle Bass Catcher because I, I like riding Screaming Eagles and I like to catch bass. Here's my Road Glide. And my Road Glide does have a, uh, a radio system. It has the speakers and, you know, it, it plays the music loud enough I can hear it and, and it's great. Um, this one here as well is my Screaming Eagle. So I, uh, I tried to do a little research uh, before I bought the glasses and I couldn't find anybody who was, you know, they were using these glasses and the radio uh, feature on their motorcycles. Um, I saw a couple of videos where they were showing the wind noise that happens with the uh, recording when you're recording, but I'm curious to know if I can, you know, listen to my music while I'm riding my Road King. And so this is a big test today I'm going to do on that and, and hopefully with good results. I'm excited about trying these things out and uh, we'll, we'll see. So come along for the ride and uh, we'll check it out and I'll, uh, I'll let you know here uh, when we come back. All right, well first off I want to say that they are good looking glasses. And, um, you know, here we are on the bike doing, uh, about 50 miles an hour coming up to the Harley Davidson dealer. And, uh, as you can see, the, uh, the video is nice and smooth. There's not a lot of shaking, uh, even, even though it's windy, um, on my face, um, my windshield doesn't cover up all the wind. So, uh, I think they did a pretty good job of, of not vibrating too much. And, um. You'll see in, in, you know, in the pictures as well here that, um, you know, it takes a nice clear picture, um, easy to use. Here, you know, I'm driving down the road just enjoying this beautiful ride, and I'm so glad I captured it because uh, now I can look back on it. And um, we just had a great time riding and got some great video while doing so. So overall, man, I, I think it's pretty good pretty good product. All right, guys, I'm back from my ride. Um, had a, a real nice 200 mile ride today. Weather was beautiful. It was great. Um, I tried to listen to my music. Unfortunately, uh, the wind noise and um, the, the engine noise uh, or the muffler noise on my mo motorcycle is is a little too loud so I couldn't really hear anything above 30 35 mile an hour um, and uh, so the radio wasn't a real uh, success with it but I will say the the video and the, the photo uh, seemed to work great um, and uh, I, I kind of like the the pictures and the, the video I took with with it um, there's always wind noise with the video so I'll, I'll you know take the, the noise out of it, I'll be able to edit that out. But overall, um, you know, the sunglasses, they, they fit well, they didn't shake a lot and all that. It was just the, uh, 
you know, the amount of wind noise and, and muffler noise that it, it wouldn't allow me to really listen to music. So I'm um, looking forward to trying with my boat fishing. I'm sure they'll, they'll work a lot better there because there won't be as much noise, but um, I kind of figured it was a long shot. I was hoping they would work, but just not, not, not quite loud enough. They didn't have the volume. So we'll, uh, we'll get back with you after we uh, test them out on the boat. We'll see ya. All right, guys, let's uh, look at this video here. Look how it's smooth and clean and um, just how no vibrations. It's a great video. Now let's listen to what they sound like in real life. Got one. Oh, yeah. This guy is messed up. You should see his, his, his bottom lip is broken. His bottom jaw is broken. He's got spots on him. Uh. All right. Bring that guy in. Oh, nice fat one. <laughs> All right, I don't know about you, but I think that they sound really, really great. The light you see does not mean you're being videotaped right now. Oh, oh is, that, is that what it is? That's what it means. <laughs> I even took these out four wheeling, and uh, man, they were they were they were great. Um, it's just a fantastic way of getting video and, and pictures on the go. Oh boy! Well. It's like we're stuck. <laughs> They also worked awesome in low light conditions. All right, guys, it's time to uh, do a quick review on the uh, the Ray-Ban stories. Uh, this is the the case, which also um, operates as a charging case. Uh, you plug in your your cord in the back, and uh, there there's a charging base right there, and it connects to the the uh, eyeglasses. So, some of the cool things about this product is, you know, you can listen to your, you listen to your music. There's little holes in the arms, on the bottom of the arms that shoot the music directly back into your ears. So, you can hear the music and not everybody else can. Now, if you're in a quiet area and you turn the music as loud as it will go, um, and somebody standing next to you, they'll be able to hear a little bit of what's going on. But for the most part, you can turn it down low enough where nobody knows it's on except you, and um, you get to enjoy your music. It just connects to your, your phone uh, through Bluetooth or it'll connect to whatever uh, device, MP3 player, whatever, you, whatever you're using. And, um, and that's, so that's really cool. Um, I tried them out on the motorcycle you saw, and, and the motorcycle is just too loud, at least with a open-faced helmet. Um, and so, I wanted to see how they did fishing. Fishing wise, um, man, they were perfect. You know, um, as you saw in the, the video, I got some great movies and some great pictures. I thought the quality was fantastic. Um, it takes a little, little getting used to, um, you know, steering them around. You, you know, you keep looking different ways and that's what you're, you know, re recording. So if you, if you want to concentrate on what's going on, like catching a fish or your buddy catching a fish, you need to try to remember that and just kind of concentrate on focusing on, on that the whole time. Um, otherwise, you could edit out whatever um, jerkiness you, you put in there. Um, it will allow you to uh, video 30 seconds or 60 seconds, up to. And um, you push the button once and you'll see the little light will go on, okay? That means you're, you're recording right now. 
all right? And it also will show you inside, there's a, a little light on the right-hand side that shows you um, that uh, it, it's recording. You can kind of barely see it out of the corner of your eye. When you're ready to stop, you just hit the button again. No big deal. If you want to take a picture, you just hold it until you hear it snap. You'll hear it, uh, you'll hear it snap. And uh, that's how you get your picture. Now, um, you can also hook this thing up through your app on your phone. It's through Facebook, Meta, M-E-T-A. And um, you could also hook it up and tell it, you know, to have voice control. Like, instead of, hey Siri, it is, hey Facebook. You know, hey Facebook, take a photo, that kind of stuff. And uh, you could hook it up that way if you want to do voice control. Also, you can answer your phone that way. Um, so that's kind of the, the cool features of this thing. So let me go back a little bit in time. When I was researching this, you know, I couldn't find anybody who really did a, 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 like a motorcycle ride with it. And that's why I wanted to check them out and see. Um, I wasn't sure. Um, so I did a little bit of investigating and talked to a nice person at a sunglass hut place at a Bass Pro Shops and um, they explained to me that, you know, they're great glasses, they, you know, that they had them, they used them, all that. And I said, okay, so, you know, what about prescriptions? How do I get a prescription? You know, is, is that a big deal? And they said, yes, it is. So you can get prescription glasses in these, but you have to go through the factory. So if you plan on buying one of these, like on Amazon or on, on eBay or something, um, and uh, you wanted to put your prescription in on it, it's not a good idea. They say that all the electronics in here, um, you know, could could be damaged. So they don't they don't like to do that. So if you if you know you really want these and you have a, a prescription, you know, that you need filled. You need to do it through the factory, so you have to purchase it through the factory, and they'll do the prescription and send it out to you. I decided not to do the the prescription because, for one, I never, you know, I never, you know, tried these out before, and for two, um, they come in two different sizes. They come in, I think, a 50 millimeter and a 55, a 53 millimeter, and I thought for sure I was going to be a 53 millimeter. Well, I went and tried them on at the Bass Pro Shop, and I'm a 50. That fits me perfect. So I'm glad I did that. Um, also, my eyes aren't too bad as far as long distance and as far as like if you're fishing. Now, when I'm tying a knot for my lure, then I change out my glasses. You know, I always carry my glasses and I'll change them out and do my knot. But as far as the overall fishing and riding in the boat and, you know, enjoying the day, I get away with these because I'm not reading. And so I decided to buy these without the prescription. This way here, if I really like them um, and, I, and, I, and I want to get them in prescription, then I'll sell these as a used you know, glasses and get some of my money back and then I'll order the ones from the, uh, uh, from the factory. So that's, that's kind of the way I was, I was thinking about doing it. Um, but uh, as far as, that's probably the, the biggest negative that I can find on these things. They weren't that expensive. Um, and actually they had them on a 30% off sale here recently. And I don't know if the sale is still going on or not, but you know, you could buy a regular pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers for like $50 less. So, you know, I really love the technology in these glasses. Um, okay. So the one thing that you also need to be careful with, with these glasses is with the, all the electronics, um, you do not want to get them wet. Um, they tell you that, do not get them wet. Uh, fortunately, I have not gotten them wet, so everything's good that way. Now, I don't know how wet, I don't know if, you know, a few raindrops or what, but uh, there's all kinds of, you know, specialized electronics in here. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd hate to, you know, get them wet in the rain or whatever. So if it, if it starts to rain, I'm gonna put them away and uh, just, you know, err on the side of caution with that. But otherwise, man, these are awesome. You know, I had, had great fun with it. My friends, I, they tease me all the time about it, you know, because if they see the light on, they know I'm recording them. And uh, so we, ha we have a good time with that. Um, 
but I, I think I've got some pretty good uh, footage and I'd definitely be using it in my um, my YouTube channel and uh, um, I really I'm really glad I, I got these things and um, they're uh, a great asset to to me and they're they're they're, they're just another camera added to my uh, camera capabilities and so I'm really excited about that very convenient if they're on your if you're on your face you, like I said you could give it a command or you could just push a button and, um, and there you go so I definitely give it two thumbs up um, it might not be for everyone but uh, for for my needs and what I want to use it for I'm real excited to have them so uh, hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy the video if you do please uh, subscribe like the video uh, share it um, and uh, you know let's uh, let's do some filming all right